The salty valleys and rocky peaks of Death Valley National Park are filled with secrets of the ages. Devil's Hole is one of the area's most special places. We've heard stories that there is an underground river down there somewhere. They don't know if there is a bottom. The deeper you go, the blacker it gets. Max Groom has made more than 200 dives in Devil's Hole, working with scientists. The cavern's located in Nevada, about 90 miles northwest of Las Vegas, just east of Death Valley. Thousands of years ago, an enormous lake covered Death Valley. As the area dried out, water was left behind in isolated pockets like Devil's Hole. The name Devil's Hole probably came about uh, during the early explorer days. This area wasn't very hospitable for a variety of reasons. Native Americans knew about the cavern. Early explorers even took baths there. The area is very enticing. You know, during the certain times of the day, the water's extremely blue. The cavern was fenced off after a scuba diving accident killed two Las Vegas high school graduates in 1965. The story made front page news in the Las Vegas Sun for several days. The divers' bodies were never recovered. Diving Devil's Hole can be very dangerous. There's so many places that these people could have gone. The only way back is the way you went in. And if you don't know how to get back, then uh, that's the end of it. Today, only scientists and safety divers are allowed into the waters. The cavern is the highly protected domain of these tiny pupfish, residents since the Ice Age. Devil's Hole pupfish have apparently been isolated in that area for a long time. Maybe they've been isolated as long as 50,000 years. UNLV's James Deacon has studied the pupfish since 1961. They live in a massive underwater system covering southern Nevada. The nearby Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge belongs to the same system. It's like this huge pool of water that extends for 200 miles north that has little spigots that open up in Ash Meadows and Death Valley as springs. Devil's Hole became part of the national park system in 1952 because of its unique habitat, but its celebrated residents have often found themselves swimming in controversial waters. In the 1970s, farmers tapped into underground springs. Water levels dropped so low at Devil's Hole, the pupfish faced extinction. The U.S. Supreme Court eventually settled the battle by granting water rights to the pupfish. Deacon testified in the case. The Supreme Court decision was a, was a euphoric period, uh, for, but not only in my life, but, but a lot of conservations around the U.S. were very pleased. Now their home truly is an oasis. Only a handful of people get to dive in the deep blue waters of Devil's Hole. Probably less than 100 people in the entire world have ever been here. To me, it's an honor. I'll put them on when we get down. Tom Jaskulski enters this world during pupfish counts every spring and fall. He videotapes the underwater cavern for the Park Service, while his dive team from Riverside County, California, provides safety. This is very slippery here, Michael. The pupfish census counts are the only time of the year anyone's allowed inside Devil's Hole. Access is limited to scientists and safety divers to protect the pupfish and their habitat. It's just very hard to allow unregulated access into this area today. We have to maintain things like fences to, to try and keep the numbers of people down to a level that won't impact the fish. UNLV's Stan Hilliard has directed the count since the late 1970s. It's a laboratory for studying biology, and, and I'll be writing down at each level, I write down the number of fish that I see. The hardest part is getting into the water. The tank is 35 pounds. A lighting system like what I wear is another 30 pounds. You're walking on boards. You have one mistake, and you could slip and fall and get severely injured. You need to step in carefully because the pupfish breed near the surface. Most of the reproductive activity is thought to occur on that ledge. And if the water level drops, and you can see it's only what, less than a foot deep, if the water level drops, then the fish don't breed. Water levels are measured constantly. Daily lunar tide cycles register in the pool. So do earthquakes. Uh, it's able to measure changes in water level as, as small as a hundredth of a foot. As 
divers take the plunge, they sense Devil's Hole's uniqueness right away. The water is 92 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is exactly skin temperature. So there's no sensation that you're in water. It's like you're floating in space. Biologists go down 80 feet to look for fish in crevices and along ledges, while park rangers count the pupfish on the surface. The fish have developed a special feature because Devil's Hole has no current. Well, yeah, they've lost this pair of, pair of fins, and, and it doesn't seem to make any difference because they don't have to swim against the current. The deepest dive ever was 450 feet by government divers, but even then, they couldn't see the bottom. During the counts, divers stay in the water about 45 minutes. Ready? OK. OK, 11, 28, 25, 38. They counted 250 pupfish this spring, a healthy number following the winter months. But the fish only live a few years. And if we don't protect this animal and take care of it and watch over it, um, this animal could disappear and generations to come would never know except by pictures. So far, their legacy at Devil's Hole has been a lasting one. <laughs>